Hi everyone, this is Oren. Thank you for joining me for another 4-minute tutorial. Today we're going to cover how to improve your underexposed video using the Fast Color Correction filter and the Waveform Monitor built into Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. We've got this clip here that's fairly underexposed. The whites are somewhat gray. His hair is blending into the background here. and There's a lot we could do to improve this pretty quickly and easily. First thing we want to do is call up the proper workspace. So we go to Windows, Workspace, Color Correction, or Alt-Shift-2, to bring up our Waveform Monitor. Now the Waveform Monitor is just a visual representation of time, here on the x-axis, and brightness levels, here on the y-axis. Currently we're looking at not just the brightness, but also the color information, or the chroma. So we're going to uncheck this chroma, so we could just focus on the luminance, or the brightness levels of the signal. Our dynamic range bar uh, here on the right hand side shows us that we're down at the bottom. Uh, the blacks are about 7.5 IRE, which is normal for NTSC broadcast standard in the, here in the United States. And the brightest whites fall under 80 IRE. So overall it's a dull image. Most of the information is around the 40 IRE and below. Now we want to bring that up. I like to use the fast color correction filter which I'm going to put on top of this clip. Now the fast color correction filter allows you to not just improve the brightness of the signal, but it also allows you to work on the hue and the saturation, which I tend to find is usually low on an underexposed clip. We're going to ignore the hue saturation wheel for the time being and go right down to the input levels. Now this will allow us to change the low, or the blacks here with the black triangle, the mids here with the gray triangle, and the highs here on the white triangle by dragging them along. So if we move the white triangle inwards, we're going to increase the luminance level of the signal. And if you watch your waveform monitor, let me increase this a bit here and pull this down. As we're dragging our whites, we're also dragging the midtones up and down. We're not doing much with the black levels, but we are dragging the midtones along with us. And this is changing our dynamic range. So we want to get this white to be fairly bright but not clipped. And you could tell you're clipped when the signal at the top starts to flatten out. Here at the 110 line, everything starts to flatten out. That means you're getting no more information at that point. And you could also look on your dynamic range bar and see that we are above the 100 IRE line. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Now the black level, or our setup level, has risen just a little bit above 7.5 IRE, above absolute black, and we do have some pure black in here, so I'm going to go ahead and drag in our input level slightly, just to bring that back down again, and that gives me a better dynamic range from the deepest blacks to the brightest brights. And then this image, as I said, let me expand this back, is a little bit undersaturated, so using the same tool, I just go up a little bit, and improve the saturation. Now if you want to see how that affects your chroma, you can check on this chroma box and as you increase the saturation, it'll increase that blue bar on the right hand side. So we're going to go up a little bit with our chroma just to give it back some color fidelity. Let's see what we got here. Okay, and if you want to do a before and after, you can do a split screen. So you can see how well we improved our image here in the before and after without adding too much noise. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. Hope to see you again soon.